All right, so today what we want to do is learn how we take a design in Fusion 360 and get it ready for the laser. There are a few different ways that we could do this, uh, but I'm going to show you this process and, um, and basically walk through the steps of how we do this. So right now I have a very basic uh, bridge truss design here in Fusion 360. And my goal is that I'd like to take one of those trusses and laser cut it to use as a template for when I'm actually building my real truss design here. Uh, so in order to do this, uh, we're going to use a couple of different steps. We're going to start off in Fusion, and then we're going to move into Inkscape. So all I want to do uh, for right now is cut the uh, one side of this as a template. So I'm going to turn off the visibility on everything except for this one side for right now. And if I click on my front view, I can see that this is what my overall truss looks like. Uh, what I'd like to do in order to create a file that the laser cutter can use is go from the drawing panel here to, or sorry, go from the design panel to the drawing panel. So up here in the top left, I'm going to click on design and move down to drawing. I'm going to say that I want to do a drawing from the design. And over here, I get some options here for these preferences for the drawing. Uh, so one thing that I need to do is choose uh, that I'm going to use the visible uh, component only. I could even come in here and select this and select just this truss because this is the only thing that I need in my drawing. Uh, and then I'm ready to go. I can click OK. This sheet size will work just fine for us. If you had a much larger file, you could go down and choose the C size, which is just about the full width and height of our laser cutter's bed. But we're good there. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. So either B size or C size is totally fine for this. Now, when I go to place this in here, this is another important uh, detail. I'm going to be laser cutting this, and I want it to be cut at the actual size that I measured and dimensioned in my, de in my uh, design. So I'm going to go up here and choose 1 to 1 for the scale. Now, when it initially tries to insert it, it looks really kind of grainy and weird. But when I click and move away from there and click OK, it's going to much it's going to look much nicer okay so there's just the outline of my truss that's what i'd like to cut um, and i don't need any of the rest of this stuff in here so what i'm going to do is actually click on these uh, outlines here with the rulers and stuff and delete literally just uh, hit the delete key and the same thing with the title block i don't this is not an engineering drawing like i'm using to show somebody i just need this for the laser so the only thing that i ultimately want on my drawing file is just this outline so this is good to go now. What I can do is click Export, PDF. Uh, I'm going to use all sheets. That's all fine. I don't need to open it. The line weights are all good. So I'll click OK. Uh, for myself, I'm going to put this on the desktop just to make it easy to find. And this is my truss design example one. And I'm going to click Save. So I've now saved this PDF of my design. Um, there is another step that we need to do, though, before we're ready to actually cut this on the laser. What I want to do is open this with Inkscape and, um, and set the line weights and the color so that the laser knows this is a file to be cut. So for me, I can right click on this and choose Open With, and I need to look for Inkscape. All right, so the next step we want to do is open our trust design in Inkscape. So I'm going to right click on this and choose Open With, and I don't see Inkscape popping up in here, so I'm just going to search for, uh, no, not Ink View. I want Inkscape to be able to actually edit this. All right, uh, we're going to click Save. That's all good. And uh, the way that Inkscape opens existing files is a little weird, so I'm going to click exi uh, Existing Files. And I honestly can sometimes never figure out how to do that, so I'm just going to let it open a new document and now open it from the file menu. So file open, I'm gonna go choose that file that I downloaded. So here it is, here's my PDF. And all of these import settings should be just fine. So what I'm opening up now in Inkscape looks basically just like what I just ex uh, exported from Fusion. So the couple of things that I need to change here are all in the fill and stroke panel. So under the object menu, I'm choosing fill and stroke. Uh, I'm gonna select this whole thing. And I need to specifically set it so that it has no fill, so there's nothing, no color filled in in between there. Uh, I need to set it so the stroke paint is a solid stroke using 255 for red. 
And then the last thing I need to do is for the stroke style, I'm going to choose inches here and set it to 0 0.001 inches. And now that's good to go. So it looks like those lines have disappeared because they're really faint. But if I zoom in some, you can see that they're still there. So this is now uh, this is now set up so that the laser cutter will recognize this as a cut file. What I need to do is go back and resave this. So I'm going to File, Save As, and I'm going to make sure I choose PDF here. And I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to call this the exact same thing, except just say that it's updated to indicate that I've updated the line weights and all that good stuff. I can click OK. And now this file is ready for the laser cutter.